What's up guys? Welcome back to another Steve Reville Food Review. Today we stopped by Sonic to try their new extra long ultimate cheesesteak. Let's check it out. All right guys, here it is. The extra long ultimate cheesesteak. Seasoned sirloin steak, grilled onions, topped with melted cheese, zesty cheese, and tater tots, Napoleon Dynamite would be proud it looks like it's on there it says a soft bun this is uh obviously the same bun they use for their for their foot long coney or their foot long coney dog tater tots on a cheese steak that was one of those uh, late late Saturday night after sitting around doing whatever coming up with an idea like this the steak looks pretty good I'll, I'll give them that it definitely does look good melted cheese then that zesty cheese sauce smells kind of spicy we'll find out it did say zesty so it could be There's something odd about the tater tot being on there. It, it kind of gives it like an odd, uh, almost chemical flavor, which is weird. Uh, I'm gonna take the tater tot off of that spot right there. Try it again without the tater tot, because I wasn't really crazy for it with that tater tot on there. Um, they got pretty good tots, but it's something didn't mesh well together it was weird. All right, so a bite without. Let's find out if it makes it any any different, which I guess it's going to make it different because it doesn't have a tater tot in it. All right, here we go. Okay, that was much, much better without the tater tot. Um, so I'd recommend, of course, try it with the tot, um, but then try it without the tot. And the top by itself, the top by itself is fine. It just doesn't seem to work well. And I usually like potatoes either in the form of hash browns, tater tots, french fries, whatever, like rolled up in a burrito or put in a sandwich or something like that. So it's just, it's odd that it doesn't work with this. But for me, it doesn't work with this. Um... The retail price on this, let me get my receipt over here out, $4.29. And after that, ultimate tax, $4.63 for me. Like I said, this is, uh, it's basically the, the same foot long steak and cheese or steak and cheese sandwich that they did, I think about two years ago. I believe it was two years ago. They did it for $3.99. They called it the foot long steak and cheese. They're calling it the ultimate this time because of the tater tots. And then you can get the spicy version that's exactly the same as this with the addition of sliced pickled jalapenos to kind of spice it up a little bit, kick it up a little bit. Spicy version. One more bite here and uh, we'll give this thing a rating. I'm liking it. The, the, the steak, the steak and cheese. I like the flavors there. It definitely was kind of a, a throw off with uh, with the tot. All right, one more bite, we'll give this thing a rating. All right, guys, so the ultimate steak and cheese from Sonic. I like it, but I'm not in love with it. I mean, it's February. I need stuff to be in love with, right? So this one's not something that I would come back for. It's not something I would order again. Uh, I think I would, I would actually, if I was at Sonic and I wanted something similar to this, shape, size, whatever, I would just go with the Coney Dog. I've had steak and cheese sandwiches from 
other fast food restaurants. I'm not even comparing this to like the real deal steak and cheese because it, I mean, that would be nowhere close to a comparison. I've had steak and cheese sandwiches from fast food places that were way better than this uh, for very similar price as this, uh, $4.29. So, um, yeah, not a favorite for me. I wouldn't say stay away from it, but it's uh, it, it's not something that I'm going to recommend. If you want to try it, go try it. If you want to go off of my experience, then I would say just kind of avoid this one. It's not it's not uh, not a February love it kind of thing. I, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going there. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, for me. This one's going to be uh, 6.9, uh, definitely above the the mid-grade point, but it, it doesn't get into that point where I would come back for it, so it doesn't get into the sevens. Um, I mean, I'm not disappointed that I got it. I just, like I said, wouldn't get it again. Um, they, do, they do have some other things. Um, Again, the Colony Dog would be much better, and I think it's a little bit cheaper or about the same price. Anyway, that's my view of the ultimate cheese steak from Sonic. With that, I'd say good day.